afternoon bunker. Just a just a quick one. Like I put that post up before about having a crack at the Kydex. Finally, um, just to show you, obviously cut it out of this uh, Kydex sheet that I bought from Ron, and it is 0 0.08 of an inch thick. Um, I'm not sure if that's going to be a problem or not, but some people I do see on the internet use 0 0.06, which I suppose is thinner. Maybe it can um, shapes better forms. Um, we'll see. Uh, the original sheath, like a little bokeh sheath, and the old toaster oven, my five dollar toaster oven, still ticking away, stinks of plastic. And let me this over here. Ooh, this is my Kite Express, anyway. Um, four sheets of the um, camping mat um, on a basically a, a press that I constructed from scrap materials that I had um, did have to buy a few bolts and uh, the hinges I had to buy the hinges and probably all up it's probably about I think I did spend about twenty dollars and that was including the mats as well so Still got it at it reasonably cheap, and oh, and that's including a C clamp as well for the big one. Alrighty, let's do the unveiling. Fail or not? Let's see. If you can see the, the knife sticking out there. <laughs> there you go. Ready? Alright, clamp off. Go around this so we can see. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to look through the monitor and the press, but let's see. Here we go. Looks like a decent sort of a press. There you go, you see it there? Probably went a bit overboard with the... Maybe not. It's a bit shorter up the top there, isn't it? But there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Now, like I say, this is the first time ever. Nice imprint there. nice. But yeah, I'm going to obviously have to find that position where it sits and uh, maybe tape it together, I suppose, and drill some holes for, and use some uh, Chicago screws that I've got from Ron. But anyway, we'll see. Uh, this is the second part of my video. I think there'll be at least three little videos that I've got to edit together. So this will be part two, if you want to call it that, but there'll all be like a fade in between each section, so it'll just be the one video, I suppose. But yeah, I, um, like I say, you saw me cut out everything, um, and what I've progressed to is that. I got a reasonable sort of mould, um, and uh, what I did was use the basically that painter's tape just to hold it all together, just to see if it needed any more um, adjusting, and and I did adjust it. I um, heated up just where the guard is with my um, heat gun. Yeah, the Azito one from Bunnings, which I bought for um, mucking around with the PlayStation. And yeah, that heats it up really quickly. And then yeah, just held it, held my you know index finger and thumb there just to just to close the gap, 
slightly and yeah there's no movement in there it's a lot tighter um, and then again it's all decided by so on a whim I'm just all putting the Chicago screws wherever I thought I suppose one up here helps with the you know, retaining the blade and you can adjust it for tension same with the top one and the bottom one's the, the three purely just because it's all winging out a little bit one thing I've noticed with these Chicago screws is I'll show you on this side uh, see if you can make out can you see, see the gap there the Chicago screws here that I've got don't tighten all the way down which is unfortunate means that you can't to tighten the sheath you know, both sides together tightly so I was just mucking around last night, you know, getting late and so, I don't know <laughs> used the sharpie and drew a sort of a, an outline-ish it may change and then I just started using some uh, strapping material here of, uh, I think, a, a webbing I should call it just to see if it would take out some of the slack but also act as belt loops and it does work, I've doubled it over and it does take out some of the I don't know, the gap I, I suppose I call it but not completely and I don't know if I'm happy with them anyway my idea was to run it horizontal cross draw but also maybe put a piece of webbing down the middle here so you could write, have it vertical or cross draw and put it on from the side here or you can you know, run it vertical on your opposite side so what, what I am thinking now is uh, I've got some leather and I might make up some loops and use them and I think the leather then also will act as a better it'll take up more of that gap of the Chicago screw like I say you can see it there I'm sort of racking my brain what to fill the gap with and I think that's the best way and as I go along what have I got to lose anyway just having a go uh, but yeah, it's, it's there's no rattle. Um, I don't know if I can really. I'll try and pull it out here. And here we go. Let's see. Here we are. It's pretty tight, so I'm going to have to still do some adjusting. Tape's still on the blade, obviously. But yeah clicks in. A little bit of movement there, but goes in. Um, I'm happy. Um, good progress anyway. Learn as you go. There you go, so that's that. And uh, yeah, hopefully, possibly today I might get it finished. We'll see. Okay, see ya.